Hey, what's up guys? Abreta Gaming 5 here. And today is July 1st, so happy Canada Day to all my Canadians out there. Hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy this, the festivities that your area is offering and hosting. Uh, without further ado, I want to make a uh, quick-ish video about the uh, Farm Sim 25 announcement from last week Tuesday. Uh, I did pre-order it. Uh, you don't want to know how much money I spent on it because for those that don't know, it's for us Canadian uh, residents, it's expensive-ish in my opinion, but that's if you get the uh, full bundle, so the game and the pre-order bonus, which we'll go off or we'll, we'll go over eh, once here in a couple minutes. So as you can see, yes, Farm 25 has been announced. It is releasing November 12th, 2024. Uh, it is for PC and Mac, PS5, and Xbox S and X. Sorry, PS4 and Xbox One, you will not be getting the game. There's nothing I can do. Um, yeah. So we're going to quickly watch the uh, trailer here. I, quick, I did a first recording without the sound, and I'm like, you know what, what's the point? So, yeah, we're going to go over the trailer. And then we'll talk about some of the screenshots they have to offer here. So, let's go here. Let's uh, full screen. E for everyone. And watch the trailer. That's loud. Here we go again. <laughs> So again, this is footage, not actual gameplay. Just keep that in mind. This is CGI. Black life, we know it can be hard. And it can be surprising, too. I don't know if people who look like that. But sometimes it's about being at the right place. No comment. At the right time. So as you can see, there. So let's just stop here. So people, a few people uh, haven't really noticed this, but according to Giant Software, most of the stuff in this trailer should keyword should be coming within the game. So our our is the phone feature coming, or is it just like a like um, SES software's photo mode where you can press a button and it comes up with a cool. Uh, you know, camera type thing. So as you can see, they're getting a photo with what looks to be a rice planter in uh, the new Asia map that they announced. And uh, yeah, look to me, it looks like an iPhone. But you know, whatever. Getting soaked in the rain. The best lessons I learned under the wide open sky. Again, these are the same actors from the Farm Sim 22 trailer. Water track. Water pump for the rice fields. So beautiful, it can help you see yourself and the world in all new ways. Dirt bikes are coming, that's cool. Newest John Deere. JM grain cart with a. I want to see an X9, maybe? S7? John Deere Combine? Okay, so as you could as you could hear or hear and see, we're getting a couple new uh, 
uh, crops here. We're getting rice, which is the first one. New uh, little bus truck thing from the Asia map. Is that coming? I do not know. Got some new livestock here, the water buffalo, which I never knew what they were called or what they look like. So that's going to be cool. Again, like I said, rice fields with a rice planter. Selfies with the... Oh, hang on. Let's go back here. So, see the dark... See the uh, stormy clouds up uh, off in the distance there. Something tells me and, well, other taunt content creators that we're getting uh, severe weather within the game this time around. And then see the... Oh, hang on. The new uh, 715 Case IH quad track with... I want to say Great Plains, but I'm not exactly sure what kind of uh, disc plow, disc harrow, cultivator, whatever this is. Obviously it's green. It's not John Deere because it doesn't have yellow wheels. You got the water pump here for flooding the fields. Got the dirt bike and the reflections here. Another thing that I didn't go over here, but uh, deformable terrain in the sense that you can, when it rains, you can dig ruts easily. Not like um, snow runner and mud runner kind of type of thing, but something will be there for, for that. Again, the John Deere equipment, the chicken. track in the background again you guys remember that we had the uh, bent two track in the background of the 22 trailer and yeah again like like I said it's uh, you can get it from giant software yeah, it's for all these platforms here November 12th um, I like the background there's some cool shots and whatnot anyways let's go back to here and read the blog. So it says, we'll flood the fields with fresh water to grow rice, unleash new machines, and create more death. In more sorry, in more death in more ways than one, sorry. While you may have many questions about how we are, wait. while you have may have questions, how about we give you an answer for FS25? When, for FS25, when first? My God, I can't read, apparently. Again, the pre-order, the trailer, so let's take a look here. You get the uh, pre-order and collector's edition. Uh, you get the class cesarean thumbnail on the, on the collector's box here. Uh, USB ignition block, which I think would be really cool, especially if you could uh, use it in like truck sim. You know, you know, it gives you a little more um, flexibility. I'm gonna say with for your simulators, so like truck sim, farm sim because uh, I have a side tech panel, side panel, and it works with both truck sim and farm sim. So is this going to work with truck sim? Maybe, maybe not. Got the nice little keychain here. Uh, modding tutorials, which will be cool. Some brand stickers and whatnot. And I don't think many people uh, pointed this out here, but with the uh, A2 posters, you can kind of see what the uh, Crop calendar uh, menu is going to look like. Can I open an engine new tab here? Yeah, you can kind of see what the uh, background is going to look like for the uh, menus. Going to be a uh, dark, dark background and uh, very colorful, which I like. I like colorful stuff. Uh, you get the Gold Edition New Holland CR11 Combine. Uh, I get the, <coughs> excuse me, PC game and the Mac Don pack with it. The 16-bit six, retro edition and soundtrack by uh, Chris Hols Holsbeck. Sounds Swedish, in my opinion. Probably a Swedish, but whatever. Wherever they're from, it sounds like that language. <laughs> um, yeah, 
So that's what you get with the collector's edition. Let's go back here. Year one. So when you pre-order on Steam and you go for the um, game and year one pass, you get one, two, three, four DLCs for free when they release in, well, next year. So first one's gonna be Innovative Machinery. Is that gonna be autonomous tractors? Is that gonna be electric tractors? I don't know. Performance on plains and prairies. Now, me being from Alberta, I am so hoping that they're gonna do something in Canada for whether it's a ma whether it's a map or equipment or something, but performance on plains and prairies. See a little uh, what looks like a um, mountain canyon thing from like Utah or, or Arizona. There, that's what that looks like to me. The stars align. Does that mean we're gonna get maybe people are hoping for GPS? That'd be really cool. Now, why would that be paid? I don't know. My in my opinion, that'd be really stupid. And of course, the new map, which everyone is assuming is from England or United Kingdom, which I would agree with that. The uh, landscape, the architect, the uh, house here, and just the way they've made this thumbnail. Again, like I said, if you get the uh, order bonus, you get the MacDon pack here. So a couple pieces of equipment from MacDon. You got the uh, Swather Mark and Mower. Excuse me. Uh, you get to farm in Asia this time in this iteration of the game. Uh, it says, want to embark on a new farming challenge in a lush East Asian landscape filled with rice patties? Do that. Build an agricultural empire in the North American environment with plenty of open space? Go ahead. Which I will be doing because I love open space and I love North American landscapes. Um, go ahead. Enjoy a scenic Central European location with green fields between ponds and rivers. Well, you can do that there too. Uh, Farms in 25 features three diverse environments for your farming adventure. Grow rice and flood the fields with water. So there's the uh, rice planter that we saw in the trailer there. Um, some water buffaloes. You can grow two types of rice and or grow two types of rice, spinach, and other new crops, choosing from well over 20 overall. Mighty buffaloes and other animals join cows, sheep, pigs, chickens, horses, and other livestock. While new production chains and construction missions extend your business opportunities. So does that mean we're going to get maybe an excavator bucket, a front end loader bucket? I mean, we have those anyways, but, you know, could we possibly dig a hole to, like they say, help with the construction missions? I don't know. That would be cool. Again, that would be really cool if we could. But that's all equipment that we're talking about. There's a couple other things I want to talk about here soon, too, but let's just go over the blog here. More machines from your favorite brands. Over 400 authentic machines and items from more than 150 international top brands. Brands like Case IH, Class, Fent, John Deere, Kubota, Massey Ferguson, New Holland, Veltra, and many more allow you to engage in agricultural forestry and animal husbandry. Whether you build your legacy single-handedly or cooperatively in multiplayer, you decide. And then it goes on with the uh, the new Giants engine, which is Giants Engine 10, uh, upgrading fields and visuals. My hope with this, let's go through this, I'm trying to look into this. My hope with this that instead of, you know, better graphics, yes, that's cool, find a balance between better graphics and performance. Because my big gripe with 19 Ford is performance. Because 19, when you load into the map, it loaded everything at once. Okay, fine. But then they said, hang on, that's a, that's not good for performance, which I would agree. So they did something where most games do rendering, and it only renders what you're looking at. So there's a tractor behind a shed. It will not render that tractor. It'll render the front half of the shed, and so be it. But anyways, um, I'm hoping that they make better performance improvements. Yes, 
better graphics is awesome. But you gotta do 50-50 with graphics and performance. If you leave, if you do 60-40, A, people are gonna complain, and B, no one's gonna play. So, uh, we'll go over with this paragraph here. Feel a deeper connection to your fields and nature thanks to a general tech upgrade with improved graphics and physics based on the latest and latest and modding friendly Giants Engine 10, including distance fog, enhanced shadows, dynamic weather effects, ground deformation, and more. The romantic life of virtual farming gets more immersive and atmospheric. Okay, never heard that word before. So yes, modding friendly. What does that mean for modders? Well, I've seen um opinions on Facebook and social media saying that they're hoping that the the uh, version from 19 from 22 to 25 isn't a headache and that they don't have to relearn every single thing about the new Giants editor and Giants 10 engine 10 because that's the biggest headache with releasing a new game from Giants is that they say modern friendly, but that means they have to relearn every single aspect of that editor engine, which some people don't mind doing because it's new stuff to play with. Some people get annoyed by it because they just got into 22 and they just figured out the 22 Giants editor. So, you know, I hear both sides of the fence. I, I just both sides of the conversation here. A uh, distance fog here, you can see a nice uh, photo here of uh, a nice river here. A little shed in the background. Um, from the graphics from 22 to 25, I don't see any major differences. Aside, aside from the uh, low line haze and fog. You know, the tree, the tree leaves still look the same, the sky still looks the same. The clouds look somewhat different, but... Again, I don't see a whole lot. And then you got a couple more screenshots here. Of some pieces of equipment here to go over that. We got the uh, Case uh, Combine AF11, which will be cool. They did say that, now this is according from other content creators, Giants did say that most, if not all, the machinery, hoping most of them anyways, We'll have configurations for North American uh, signage and European signage. So you could see the little uh, blinker marker lay here. So that's kind of cool. I do like seeing that. They kind of started doing that in 22. But, you know, pieces, pieces of equipment that had it, they still got it wrong. Because the Fent 1167MT2 track has options for US and EU. But when you do EU... Or sorry, when you do the U.S. configuration, you still have the Chevron placards, and there's a f many farms, and I watch Mike Mitchell mostly, mostly, who has had a 1167 MT2 track, and it did not have the European checkered placards. So, thankfully, there's a modder within the community that said, "Screw this! I'm doing. I'm going to get rid of that for the." US variant and did that so kudos to him for doing that but I wish that he didn't I mean I'm not saying he didn't have to but I wish Giants would have realized that hey we should not have done that because the US variant of the two track doesn't have placards again same with the uh, Fent 930 and whatnot they added they didn't really do a US variant of that but I would hope they do this time and get rid of the stupid placards because to me, it looks silly. Yes, I understand it's, you know, for uh, regulation and whatnot overseas and Europe, in Europe, fine, cool. But but for those that want to use Fent, Fent and Echo machinery, they don't want to be using placard or using these pieces of equipment in, in uh, USA and Canada maps. Really don't want to be using these placards because it looks weird to most of us. And the last screenshot... I think it's the last screenshot. Yeah, we have here is the uh, Mac on uh, mower here. Again, I can I'm having high hopes for like what I just talked about with the config, US configurations, 
because this is a true USA configured uh, swather. See the blinker lights here on the side here. You know, don't have the weird um, placards there. You got the triangle, which is, you know, something that goes on everything that goes under, I think, 40 kilometer an hour, I believe. Or 60 or something like that. I think it's 40. I'd have to look at the handbook again for my driver's ed. But, um, yeah. So, now that we went over the screenshots, what are is my what is my opinion on the trailer and what we've seen so far? I'm excited because yes, it's a new game. I'm scared or worried. I'm gonna say because every time Giant says, "Oh yeah, we improved the performance," yeah, like by one percent because. Like, I have a 1650 graphics card, and I cannot play FS22 on Ultra Graphics. I would love to, but I can't. So, I'm hoping that they do more performance improvements, more over than the enhanced graphics. Number two, multiplayer. Farm Sim is the only game that I can think of that has the worst desync driving style for multiplayer. What I mean by that is that if you do not host a server, your your driving is based on your ping. So if your if your friend is hosting from Europe and you're playing from Canada or wherever you're or where you're from, and your ping is let's say 80 milliseconds, you know the the yellow red area ish let's say your game is going to stutter like it's at 80 milliseconds same thing for dedicated servers this isn't just ho home hosting service this is dedicated service too now if you're both from the same area then you know you can but you get much better ping you know 32 which is great but when you have those frame drops it is extremely noticeable and that is why, as much as I love playing Farm Sim multiplayer, I don't because of that reason. Because no one likes to play a game where it's relying on your internet connection just to drive a tractor down the highway or in a field. And you're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, when you just want to plant, harvest, so whatever you're doing. You know, like, a game that I would hope they learn from and you know do somewhat better is again I'm gonna do SCS software because SCS software has convoy mode in both ATS and ETS2 and yes it's still based on ping but you don't notice it and when you do it's like for a split second it's like oh hi desync you know kind of like I'm gonna say 5M too because 5M works you know but 5M and truck sim in my in my utmost opinion, again, this is, this is my opinion, has way better multiplayer functionality than FS22, 19. Well, 19 wasn't too bad, but it was still noticeable. But 22, in my opinion, had the worst multiplayer fit or functionality because the desync-like driving is extremely annoying. I would hope that they revamp multiplayer as a whole and learn and get tips from uh, SDS software and how they uh, battle desync and whatnot because yes it's still there but it's not constant you know I'll buddy of my me and a couple buddies were doing a truck convoy a couple weeks ago and he was he lives in uh, one of the southern states there in the USA and his ping, his server ping I think was like 112 or something like that 120, I think it was 120 something. So it was in the red, and you know, I still decided to hop on because why not? I wanted to. But with him hosting and streaming, keep in mind he was streaming, no one had any issues with desync driving. Aside from, well, I think me a couple of times, but that's because I was get pretty close to his trailer. But other than that, those those two couple of times, 
it was smooth as hell. There's myself, um, a buddy of ours named Action, um, a buddy of ours named Warrior, Corvette, and him was hosting. And as far as I know, no one had performance issues. Not one. And that's with him, with the host, ha having a server ping of 120, which is, which I think when I looked at it was in the orange red area. So if Truck Sim and 5M can balance out the functionality from Watcher Player, why can't Giants? Like, this is 2024. How have they not figured out how to get rid of desync driving? You know? Like, that's my biggest gripe, is performance. We love to play games together. But one of us is going to say, oh, I can't play because X reason. Okay, well, I understand that because that is annoying. And I do. You know? So, again, to sum it up, yes, I'm excited to see what's coming. But I am worried to see how the performance is going to be within the new game. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and me ranting. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Hope uh, we get some more news and screenshots here shortly. I think FarmCon, let's just see here. FarmCon I think is, I think, next weekend, I believe. A couple of content creators are already headed to, jo or to Germany, sorry. So, yeah, on July 6th and 7th, so that is ne next weekend. So, hope we get more info this week and next next weekend. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a good uh, Monday. Happy Canada Day to all my Canadian uh, viewers. Uh, stay safe, stay kind, and as always, enjoy yourselves. Bye for now.